Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies bringing you another Fusion tip. Today I'm going to look at sketches and profiles. Along with Fusion 360 I use Inventor extensively. There are some marked differences between the two softwares and flipping back and forth I sometimes get confused which feature is where and which end and which software which best practice I'm supposed to use with which. One thing I was taught using Inventor was they keep the sketches as simple as possible. This may not be the best policy using Fusion given the method of extrusion. Like any modeling software, there are many ways to accomplish the same task. Some better than others and often some because of personal preferences. Regardless of the way you work, I think it's important to offer alternatives so that you can decide which works best for you. I would like to show you a method of using multiple profiles in a single sketch. What are profiles you ask? Let's take a look. On the screen I have two separate sketches. Like any method of 3D modeling, this process takes some upfront thought and planning. I am modeling a water pump and I have laid out my sketch thinking ahead to what profiles and extrusions I will employ. So as you see I have a front sketch and I also have uh, a side sketch, a profile that I have to the side. So um, to begin I'll just turn the side sketch off but um, let's take a look at how I built my uh, first sketch. You can see that uh, utilizing the layout all the geometry and dimensions I have relationship to one another. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, extrude my shape and knowing how um, Fusion selects their shapes you can see that I can choose any one of uh, the profiles in that sketch. So to begin with I'm just going to select all the profiles except for the center hole and I'm just going to extrude this away to a negative one. All right. So now the second extrusion what I want to do is you can see that my sketch I can turn it off or I can leave it on it's still active so I'm going to place another extrusion and for this one I'm going to select my two inner circles and you can see I can drag that out and I'm going to make that 2.5 <clears throat> so to make my life a little bit easier uh, I, I need to put a, a small recess in here so I'm just going to add a quick sketch to the front of that boss and I'm going to project that inside circle So now I'm just going to extrude that inside shape and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to cut that back, oh, I don't know, maybe a negative 0.375. And that's just a recess uh, for my bearing. So um, I can activate my second sketch over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a a cutout on the back and I'll just do a revolve. I'll select that sketch and I'll select the axis as that center. It automatically comes up to a cut and I have my recess cut out. So the next one I'm going to do is um, I'll extrude and I'll come up and I'm going to select my four cutouts here and I'm going to cut them back in and I'll make that negative 0.75 so as you can see I've got um, all my extrusions and all my shapes done with just uh, basically one simple sketch and then a smaller one on the side for the cutout uh, not that it's part of this uh, tutorial but now I can continue to go in and now I can go in and select all my 
fillets to finish my design and I can just make that and there you have it so the nice thing about that basically I've got everything done pretty much with just one sketch saves a lot of problem and I can do a lot of my upfront layout just with this one sketch so it works pretty nice uh, the second example I want to show you it's pretty similar again I just have a, uh, a simple sketch here and um, what I did is I added a second sketch so basically I have two sketches one in the layout for my hanger bearing and the second layout is for the location of the holes in that bearing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude my first sketch back and I'm just taking the general shape the next extrusion uses that center sketch to cut the hole through the next one is a recess for a bearing and then the seat the next part is I utilize my second sketch to locate my four holes and apply all of uh, the countersinks so you can see I selected them out of the countersinks all done with just the points of the sketch after this simple method of just continuing on and adding my fillets to finish dressing my hanger bearing so all this was done um, rather nice with just one or two sketches so I did a lot of this without having to create the create the part the body and continue to add features so all I needed to do was just continue to edit or I should say um, extrude the shapes that I've placed on my sketch and basically here is the first layout of the sketch in inventor we kinda try to keep things a lot more simple and add the features uh, however the way fusion works with being able to extrude and share the sketch and continue to cut things out a lot of times this can be maybe a preferred method so um, give it a try uh, again like anything else this is just a demonstration um, not saying that you can't use the traditional methods of creating a profile extrude them adding another profile to the model and add features this is just another method to add to your toolbox so give it a try uh, hope it saves you time and works out well thanks for joining me again uh, this is Dave Briner from Centers Technologies have a great day.